Alright, hello YouTube, Derek Shoehorn here for Life Advice. I hope you're all okay today. I hope uh, the lockdown's not uh, treating you too badly as ever. And, and uh, let's, get, let's just get straight into your question, shall we? And let's not dwell on that. Let's not dwell on the situation in the world today. We don't need to dwell on it. Um, so the questions today, first question. Oh, the first question is a, um, I actually need to make a uh, correction to, uh, well, not a correction so much. I, I misread a question that I answered, in, uh, I think it was a couple of videos ago now, about, um, well, I read the question as being something to do with uh, humanoid robots, which my, my answer still applies, but it turns out I missed, I missed a crucial word from the question, which was uh, difficult. The, the question said, uh, how, how should you deal with difficult uh, so-called people, not not just so-called people, which is the question I answered, and, and I'm sure you can appreciate that. That word makes a big difference. The word difficult makes a big difference. Um, I'm still, I, I mean, the so-called thing, I still, I, it, I, I guess it still applies to the robot stuff, but di if you're asking about difficult people, which is what the questioner assures me he was asking about, um, that's, a whole, that's a whole different thing. I mean, the robot thing, it won't help you. It won't help you with answering that and dealing with difficult people. I think it will probably the first thing to bear in mind if you are dealing with, with a difficult person in your life is that uh, robots will be of practically no use to you whatsoever in that. So, um, so that's the first thing. But in general, um, I just, this is obviously a uh, something that comes up quite a lot because it's very common for people to have difficult types in their lives. Um, and I would just say, for me, the way I do it, and I know this is kind of controversial, and a lot of people don't agree with this, but this is what I've always done, and I would always recommend it to you do, to is just cut them out of your life, cut them out. And I personally have a one-strike rule: if I encounter, if somebody in my life is being difficult, they're gone. They are gone. I did it with my own father. I've done it with with all of the friends I've ever had pretty much and um, I don't regret it one bit because we, you don't need a difficult person in your life any longer than uh, than necessary you know because they're only going to hold you back from achieving what you want to achieve so just no tolerance no tolerance whatsoever if someone is being a problem to you gone get rid of them cut them out you know um, I think that's about all I need to say about that you get the point uh, it's, a, it's not an easy thing to do. I'm not saying it is, but you just have you just have to do it. You have to push through the pain and do it. Cut them out. Delete the number. Um, block them on social media. Everything gone, as if they never existed. You know. Okay. Next question. Um, let's get it up on the phone here. Oh, uh, Derek, has political correctness gone mad? Well, I don't, I've never really understood what uh, political correctness is. I mean, all I know about it is it's a way of saying things where the wording is almost the same, but one way is incredibly offensive and the other way is fine. And I find that very difficult to understand personally. Um, for example, to spring to mind, uh, it, it, if you if you were a, a, one of the minstrel show and you, and you painted your face black, back in the day they used to call that blacking up, and now they call it blackface. And they sound pr pretty similar, but one is good and the other is bad. But it's good, you have to know these things, because you don't want to piss people off, you know. I don't really understand it, but I respect it. You know, you, you have to respect it, because um, otherwise, you're going to get the same thing back at you one day. You know, there'll be a thing that people, that people like, I, I heard once that, uh, that the name Derek is a, a playground insult. And uh, I wouldn't want it used to, I, I want to be called Derek, not Derek or whatever, or whatever you know. So I, I have to respect that. If I expect to be treated that way, then I should treat other people that way too. So that's what I think about political correctness. Um, has it gone mad? I mean, what does that mean? It gone mad? I don't, I can't, how can a concepts like that go mad? 
isn't that's a psychological thing. So that doesn't mean anything, that part of the question. So I think that'll that'll do for an answer for that. So let's move on. Uh, the next question is about it's with regards to uh, to whether or not I think it's a, a good idea for for the UK specifically actually this question has uh, but to uh, legalize cannabis or uh, marijuana as my friends across the pond might know it as uh, weed herb ganja whatever you want to call it do I think it should be legalized and the answer is unequivocally absolutely not if anything I think it should, the penalties for uh, for use of that stuff should be far stronger than they are and the reason is you only have to do a small amount of shallow reading to, to realize that almost every terrorist atrocity that is committed the perpetrators have at some point in their life smoked weed smoked cannabis and for me that's enough I mean what more do you need to know this stuff is turning people into mass killers and and for that reason absolutely why it's, it would be insane be insane to legalize it so uh, again so it's, it's just an unequivocal no don't do it and I would I would um, implore our, our leaders and policymakers to not go down that route because we'll uh, we've got enough terrorists that it is we don't need half the country turning into a terrorist just because they can they can get a, an easy fix of, uh, of cannabis okay all right I think that's it for today Thanks very much, guys. Hit hit uh, like, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon. Tell your friends about life advice. Oh, and you can now follow me on Twitter at Derek Shoehorn on Twitter. That's the Life Advice official Twitter outlet. So uh, give that a look. I'm putting up all the videos there, and also occasionally other tweets about things that just come to mind and which you might find interesting and helpful and useful and actionable in your life, which is what we're all about. Take care, guys.